What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drop. Everybody has week 12 of our B4G Pokemon for Glory against the Durham Dredagons and Coach Six Foot Hacks or Leo. Very excited for this match, guys. He is a top notch battler, and I always love playing against some of the best. And Leo is definitely one of them. He's a UCL champion. I've got some championships under my belt as well. Uh, every time I face Leo, I've come out on top, though. I have beaten him in UCL season one and two. I had Mega Metagross, and then I think the second one. How did I beat him the second one? I remember Mega Venusaur put in some work, I think. But uh, this is a different different league, different match. Leo, I think, is a great battler, and I'm really excited for this match. I have a lot of respect for the dude, and uh, we should have a good one, man. Question of the day is, what do you think of the new Ultra Beast? who got the, the big big stone tower thing and then the gumball machine. Let me know your thoughts on those. Hit that like button down below and subscribe if you're new. We got this match, and then WBE will be tomorrow. So lots of good stuff uh, for battles this weekend. So I hope you guys have your popcorn ready to rock. I broke down my team. Team Builder is, of course, live on the channel. So check that out if you want to see what I'm bringing, why I'm bringing. Highly recommend it. We got some funky stuff this week, and it should be a lot of fun. So I'm going to get connected with Leo here. Hopefully, we can pick up a W, and let's have some fun. All right, guys, we are connected here with Leo and ready to rock and roll. Let's find out what team he is going to bring. I'm expecting Tangrowth, Victini, Garchomp, Crocodile, Aerodactyl, and then maybe Cabalion or Skunk Tank. But there's a few different uh, variations he can go with. Let's find out what he's going to bring. He is going to bring Cabalion, no Skunk Tank, which is great news. He brings Jellicent, Raichu, lots of different things that I kind of what I expected. No Victini. Oh my goodness. I just got really no Tangrowth. I just got really excited. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is amazing. Okay, um, I don't want to get too excited yet because he probably has some sort of master plan, but he brings Cabalion as well. So I do like the matchup for our initial strategy here, which is great. And uh, we've got Cabalion. Let's see here. Cabalion, Garchomp, Jellicent, Arrow. My dedicated lead is going to be Don Fan, but I'm going to give it a second here. Let me just update things. We've got the Raichu. No Tangrowth. we got Cabalion. Uh, no Cabal. Oh, and then we got Jellicent. So, Jellicent, Crook, Arrow, Garchomp. Okay. That looks good to me. Okay, cool. That looks cool. All right, so we're going to lead Reese's here. Setting up Stealth Rocks is super important. His only way to get rid of him would be a potential defogging Aerodactyl. It's not as important because obviously he, um, you know, his rock weakness is limited in this matchup, but I think getting a Rocks is still super clutch. And Dawn Fan doesn't have to deal with a Skunk Tank anymore, which is super nice. So, I definitely like my lead there. Otherwise, let's just take a quick look here. I think, I think Diggersby is still great in this match. I just got a weak in Jellicent, but Jellicent does not want to take an Earthquake. Um, and really, after an Agility, we're going to be in great shape unless he's Scarf Raichu. So I definitely like like what I'm seeing here. Let me just run some quick calcs here. Diggersby versus Jellicent. How much chip damage do I need on that Jellicent? Um, not a ton. I mean, he, I'm going to be doing 75 plus to him uh, with an Earthquake. So uh, Stealth Rocks, couple Stealth Rock switch-ins. We'll put him right where we need him to be. Uh, obviously, we do have to be scared of a burn, but you know we have our we have a good good answer to that. So he's gonna lead Remy here, which is gonna be his Raichu. That's actually a great matchup for me because I have Rhesus out here. So he could hit us with a big special attack, but he could also lose his Raichu in the process. So I don't know what he would do. Um, I could just freely go for an Earthquake though and potentially knock his Raichu out. Do I think he's gonna switch? Switch is the question though. Um, he knows I have Sturdy, so my gut says he just switches out and goes into Aerodactyl. My gut says he switches out and goes into Aerodactyl, which is why I want to set up Stealth Rocks. There's no way he would leave his Raichu in against me, is there? I mean, he could Grass Knot and knock us to Sturdy, which is a bummer, but he would potentially lose his Raichu on the first turn. He could have Fake Out to break our Sturdy as well. That's something to make note of. He could have Fake Out to break our Sturdy. I'm gonna go over the Stealth Rocks here. He's gonna switch out, so he, he does make the switch right off the bat. He probably go, he goes into Guillermo, which is gonna be the Garchomp. Okay, it's actually not bad. I get a Stealth Rock up, and I can immediately threaten him here with an Earthquake. So I'm a little surprised to see that he went that route, but um, I would imagine I would imagine going for Earthquake here is gonna do a tremendous amount to this thing. It does over uh, over half. So I think I'm just gonna Earthquake. I could also Ice Shard, but I think Earthquake's the play. I could live any hit from him here. I'm not gonna over predict because I don't wanna I wanna keep my sturdy intact. Like and just use it now before he sets up his own rocks. And Earthquake plus Ice Shard does knock out Garchomp, so he might not he's not gonna know whether I have it or not though, which is nice. What was he predicting with the Garchomp switch in? This has been a good first two turns though. This has been a good first two turn or first turn for me. I got my rocks up for free. So getting that lead matchup was great. 
Reese is putting in some work already getting those rocks up. He, his only way to get rid of him is potential a defogging uh, arrow, Aerodactyl, which I don't think he brought defog on it. I don't think he would. He didn't bring Victini, so. Which I'm, again, I'm very surprised he didn't bring Victini. I'm very surprised. It ran through my team. He's gonna go for the Aqua Tail here, which is gonna do a tremendous amount, and it actually does less than half to us. And I can Earthquake him here, which is sweet. And that should do half to him. It does almost half to him, which means he's got some bulk investment. Okay, um, this is really interesting because the Earthquake did a little less than I wanted. Ice Shard still may knock him out. It still may knock him out here. Um, Aqua Tail, huh? What do I need this thing for? I mean, Don Fan has some usefulness in this match, but I really feel like... I really feel like getting rid of Garchomp is so valuable. I think I want to Earthquake a second time. He could be Waterium Z, but I'm just gonna Earthquake again. And we saw the Aqua Tail on his Garchomp, that's fine. It doesn't look like he can knock us out here. So I know... I know Ice Shard could kill him here, but I'm gonna go over the Earthquake and then I'll likely Ice Shard. And at that point, if, his, if he wants to save his Garchomp sitting at, you know, 20%, then that's fine, because it's easily killable with anything at that point. Dazzling Gleam from Coco and things like that, everything, you know? Bra even Brave Bird, which he doesn't bring Tangrowth. I'm really surprised. But I should be able to live any Aqua Tail. Uh, he could Dragon Claw or something, but he goes for Stealth Rocks himself, so that's fine. So this is definitely a more defensive Garchomp here, and I get a I get a free Earthquake off, so he gets his rocks up. I can obviously spin. Um, I kind of have a tough decision here because he could go Jellison predicting a spin, and getting an Earthquake off on the Jellison would be nice. Um, I think I want to Ice Shard though. I'm gonna Ice Shard. I'm gonna make the very safe play. We're gonna knock him out. That's fine with me, man. So I'll take it, dude. We got rid of him. We got rid of him. So Don Fan kills Garchomp with Ice Shard. That's fine with me, man. I got rid of Garchomp super early in the match. That makes life a little easier. That thing was one of the bigger threats. And I have, you know, my Dawn fan sitting at a great amount of health right now, still above half, which allows me to take on the Cabalion a little bit later. It also allows me to switch into the Raichu, which is very nice. It also gives me a switch in to deal with the Aerodactyl. Uh, Stone Edge after rocks does kill Aerodactyl. So Dawn fan sitting at this much health is very, very big. And his only real good answer to it is gonna be that Jellicent. And I feel like he's gonna be forced to potentially go for um, a grass move in this next move. Could give me an opportunity to go into Latias. Um, I do like Latias setting up a Calm Mind in front of the Jellicent and just kind of going for that. Obviously I have to deal with the potential uh, Crocodile coming in. But here comes Cicero, which is gonna be the Aerodactyl actually. Um, he could have a way to knock me out here, but I actually feel like it might not be in my, my it might be in my best interest just to stay in. Because realistically, I can live any hit unless he has Aqua Tail. And Aqua Tail does knock me out, but unless he has that, I'm going to go over the Stone Edge. I'm going to make the safe play. I'm, I'm going to stay in. I want to see what this Aerodactyl is going to do. He's going to Mega Evolve. Does he have the Aqua Tail? If he doesn't, we're, we could knock him out here. If he doesn't, we can knock him out here. Let's see if he prepped with the Aqua Tail. He does have the Aqua Tail. He misses. And I hit a Stone Edge. That's a big miss for him, man. That's a big miss for Leo. That's going to set him really far back, dude. He needed that Aqua Tail. Um, you know, I definitely feel bad for that miss. Uh, if he hits that Aqua Tail, he knocks us out there. So that's a really, really unfortunate miss for Leo. He really needed to hit that move. Um, that's Pokemon, man. That's Pokemon. I hate to have that happen in, in a match against Leo where, you know, I, I, it really just set him back so much just now. That just set him back so much. But, um... I mean, I'll take it. I'll take the the knockout. Aqua Tail definitely was gonna kill me there. Um, you know, assuming he's like fully offensive, which I don't see why he wouldn't. It looks like Aqua Tail is doing 59 to 71. I'm sitting a little bit above half, um, so you know, I'm assuming he would have knocked us out pretty safely there. But uh, that puts us in a in a great spot. It really forces Jellison in here now as well, um, and he's gonna have to start making some plays. So I can actually get my Primarina in pretty soon and set up screens against the Jellicent. That's really cool. And I wanna keep Donphan around 
Don Fan's great for Raichu. It's also great for Crook taking a hit. Ice sharding for priority is really nice, and it can also take a hit from Cabalion. So Don Fan's just really good in this matchup. It's just great in this matchup. And we're sitting at a 6-4 lead right now with Rocks up. He has no way to get rid of them. And now I just have to play very cautiously, uh, play safely, and ensure that he can't um, you know, he can't set up uh, hazards or whatever. I'm sorry, he can't set up on me. And honestly, Dazzling Gleam is looking great from uh, from Coco now. Here comes Crook. So he goes into Crocodile. Will it be Intimidate or not? He is Intimidate Crocodile. Okay. So that's fine. Um, I think I'm actually going to go into... I think I want to go into Umbreon here. Because Umbreon's usefulness in this match is definitely limited now. And uh, Crook really isn't going to be doing too much. He could knock off on me. I'm really surprised he doesn't want to go into Jellicent. He probably doesn't want me to knock off. I'm really surprised he hasn't gone into Jellicent. Do I just go to uh, Umbreon here? I think I just go into Umbreon and then just baton pass out. Take some hits and then get a free switch out into something like um, like Primarina. So let's go into Umbreon here. I'm going to keep Don Fan healthy. I think that's important. We'll see what he's going to go for here. Potentially uh, a knockoff or an Earthquake here. Or like Ice Fang if he has it. Let's see what he goes for. He's gonna go for the Aqua Tail. So he's got Aqua Tail, three different Pokemon with Aqua Tail. And that's gonna do pitiful damage. That's gonna do pitiful damage. So now I'm in a situation where I can pretty freely, actually I can pretty freely go for a Toxic. Uh, he could go into Cabalion though. So I think going for a Baton Pass here makes a lot of sense. It gives me a free switch out. Uh, what is his options? He goes for Knock Off, he goes for Earthquake. Either way I get a free switch out. Uh, he could go for yeah, I mean, I think just getting a free switch into Primarina here is great because he's going to be forced to go into Jellicent. That allows me to set up a screen. I'm going to go for the Baton Pass here. He's going to go for the knockoff. He's going to get get rid of our item. But we see the knockoff. No big deal. On the Crook. Again, I could have Toxic, which would have been nice, but I was, I was kind of fearing the Crook potentially switching in on the foul play or something. So we get a Baton Pass out here. Um, we know he's not Scarf. I think Primarina is a great switch in. Primarina gives me an opportunity to set up a light screen for the incoming Jellicent. I then get up my, and I can Toxic the Jellicent too. I see no reason I don't go into Primarina here. I'll set up a Reflect, and then I'll set up the the screen, the other screens. And he has no way to get rid of them. And realistically, you know, he's he can't stay in with, with his Crocodile here. So I'm going to set up a Reflect just in case he does stay in to ensure I can hit both, get up both screens. But I think he goes Jellicent here, so I'm going to go for the Reflect. I think he goes Jellicent, which is fine. I can just Toxic it. I'm sure I'll have Energy Ball, but at this point, just getting up a Reflect right now is great. This is all just helping me get my Diggers B in and setting up an Agility, which at this point, if I can do that and weaken the Jellicent with a Toxic, we're going to be in great shape. He is going to have to switch out here. He's probably going to go into his Jellicent. He goes into the Jellicent. I get my Reflect up, and we'll find out if he's Leftovers. Um, I could have toxic as well, but I think getting up the Reflect for 8 turns is really nice. And he does show Leftovers, okay. Which means he's not offensive. I'm gonna go for the Toxic here, this is a really important Toxic, we gotta hit it. I gotta hit it. I would like to, uh, he is gonna Giga Drain us. It doesn't do a lot though, you can see just how little that does, it really doesn't do much. So he went with Giga Drain instead of Energy Ball. And I gotta hit this Toxic please, thank you. That's really gonna really gonna start to wear him down. Really gonna start to wear him down. And now I can set up a light screen. And once I get a light screen up, I actually can go into I can go into Latios and start setting up as an alternative option. So let's set up that light screen now. And then we can go to Latias. And with a light screen up, I can pretty freely call mine. I can't think of how he stops a call mine Latias. Gabalion's not gonna really want to take the hits. Um yeah, I don't see how he stops Calm Mind Latias. Because he goes into Crook, and then I, I go for the ICMZ, and we knock it out. And uh, I think Calm Mind Latias is, is going to be really solid. And Raichu can't knock me out. Cabalion probably can't one-shot, or can't really knock out. I mean, the only thing that really worries Calm Mind Latias is the Crook, but I know I'm faster now, and I have ICMZ, which one-shots. So, I think my play is to go into Latias. He's going to get a drain again. And that's fine. This is going to give me an opportunity to set up my my second uh, second screen here, my 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 light screen. And uh, I'm going to get the heck out of here with Primarina. I'll keep Primarina around for Death Fodder if I need it. It did its job. It's got its screens up. I got plenty of screens, and this this uh, Jellicent is starting to get weakened here. 
and the screen is going to allow my Latias to set up in its face. So we're going out into Latias here, and we can start setting up Calm Minds. And even with Shadow Ball and Hex and all that stuff, it doesn't. it's not going to matter with the screen up. This Jellicent is very clearly defensive, not offensive. So... Um, I'm just trying to think of how he beats Latias at this point in time after one Calm Mind. I really don't think he can. If I can get up one or two Calm Minds, this game's over. Because I'm fat, unless he's like Scarf Caballion, and even then, just breaking through one or two more things really puts the team in a bad spot, like for forces the team to fall. You know, and I have a Primarina and a Dawn Fan, which are available to sack. I have Ice Shard on Dawn Fan for priority still. So he's going to stay in with Jellicent here. He likely goes for the Giga Drain again. Um, I don't really see, I mean, he could Shadow Ball predicting a switch now, but um, I think we're okay. He does go for the Shadow Ball predicting the switch, but again, like, we have this screen up. I mean, that does so little, just don't get a defense drop. Sweet. And he's getting worn down with Toxic, so now I get to Calm Mind. And after plus one, I'm going to be putting in some work here. And you see that Toxic damage is racking up, which is amazing. So I'm going to go for the Calm Mind here. And uh, if he goes Crook, then I have the ICMZ. And this is going to reduce the Shadow Ball damage. He is going to switch out here. What does he go into? He goes into Tranquillo, which is the Crook. So... He's got Intimidate. This is where I bust out my ICMZ. This is where we bust out the ICMZ. Right here. We're sitting at plus one. I know I'm faster, because he used two different moves last time. Surprised he didn't bring Scarf Crook. I really see no reason why I don't just go for the ICMZ here. You know, I don't see why I don't. He could be like Assault Vest, but I think I think this still knocks him out. I think it's still my play. Like, he's not going to switch out and let me get up another Calm Mind, you know? Uh, at plus one, we do 181. Yeah, I mean, if it's Assault Vest, that's the only way he could potentially... And even Assault Vest doesn't live. Like, max HP Assault Vest doesn't live. So, the only thing he could do here is go Cabalion because it resists. Yeah, he's staying in. This thing's gone. And Cabalion would actually potentially die to Thunderbolt plus Sub-Zero Slammer. So um, this should knock him out pretty easily here. Um, Crook with Sub-Zero Slammer. Yeah, that should definitely do it. Yeah, this Z-move is sick. <laughs> I've actually never used Sub-Zero Slammer before in a league match, but I don't anticipate the Crook live. Oh, how did he live that? Wow, dude, he actually lived it. He must be like max special defense or something, dude. And that does so little damage. He did so little to us. I'm gonna roost. I can't believe he lived that. I just assumed he was going down and I was wrong. How did he live? He must have been max it, max uh, HP, max special defense for Tabu Coco. He goes for knockoff again, but I can roost off this damage here. He crits me. Oh, dude. Well, I, I gotta untype that. Crook kills Latias with. Uh, knock off crit. Okay, ignore that. Ignore what I just said there because I was wrong. He had to crit me to make that happen. Um, Tabu Koko comes in and U-turns and knocks him out. That's a pretty safe safe option here for me to kind of knock this crook out. Um, what are my other options here? Dude, we had the, the game was over just now if, uh, if we didn't have that just happen. That's okay. Um, I could also go grab it here. Now that I know what set he is, and I can set up an agility and try to win that way, I should still have at least one turn or two turns of reflect. I could definitely go into grab it here and set up an agility and try to sweep now. Is there any reason why I don't do that? Is there any reason why I don't do that? I'm just trying to make sure I don't mess this up. Once this thing goes down, I still can't. I still can't lock myself into um, into Thunderbolt yet. I think I'm gonna go in and grab it and set up. He would have to crit me a second time, and he has no priority. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make my play on grab it here. Wow, he got that crit, dude. That crit, I should've just ice beamed instead of roosted. That's my own fault too, but. All right, let me just double check that I have my screens. I do have reflect one more turn here. So we click agility now, and I can definitely take a knockoff. Especially now that I know he's like a more defensive set. I was faster anyway, but. I want to set up the agility against this thing. Let's see here. He goes for the Aqua Tail. Should be able to live though. And we take that no problem, which is beautiful. There goes our Reflect, which is important, but it's all good. And now I just click Earthquake. 
Any reason not to click Earthquake? No, we click Earthquake. And now his Jellison is in range where I believe after Stealth Rocks, he goes down. So Diggersby kills the Crook. Kills Crook with EQ. And unless he's like Scarf Cabalion or Scarf Raichu, we're in good shape. Um, he could go Jellison. He does go Corbin here, which is what? That is his Cabalion. Is he shook a Cabalion? I mean, if he's shook a berry, then we'll break, we'll break the berry. Oh, he is Air Balloon. Okay, well then. That changes things a little bit. That changes things a little bit. Uh, I mean, I can return. I can return. Break his, um... Break his berry, or break his balloon. And then Coco comes in and Dazzling Gleams and knocks him out. I mean, that's an option. Um, I can definitely beat the Jellicent at this point. I just have to make sure I can beat the Raichu as well. But Dazzling Gleam from Coco looks good there. I think I just break the balloon with return. I think I just break, I think I just sack him off at this point. Um... It stinks that he's Air Balloon. That was good prep on his part. This game has, has really changed a lot. All right, we're going to return. This is going to do a good amount to him. He'll be able to knock us out with a close combat, but then he gets a defense drop and all that stuff. So um, he's going to pop his balloon, and I'm assuming he's going to go for a close combat. He's going to actually rock polish himself. That's kind of scary. Oh, that's really scary, actually. Um, I'm going to go for the Earthquake now. I'm assuming he's faster than me. Dude, if I lose because of a crit on Lahias, I mean, I know I had some luck myself, but let's see what he's going to do. Oh, man. But his dual stab, I don't think, beats Primarina, and, and Donphan is still sitting at a good amount of health. I don't think he can one-shot. Does he get Earthquake? Does Cabalion get Earthquake? I gotta look. He goes for close combat. That'll definitely knock us out. Um... Let me just take a quick look here at Cabalion. Where is Cabalion? Um, he loses some defense there, which is nice. Um, does it get Earthquake? It doesn't get Earthquake. He does get Poison Jab, though. Does Poison Jab, Cabalion, one-shot Tabu Koko? Like, Cabalion's not the strongest Pokemon, so I don't think it does. Um, poison Jab. Yeah, Poison Jab definitely doesn't knock me out, and Dazzling Gleam will knock him out now that he's minus one. Uh, minus one special defense. Dazzling Gleam definitely knocks him out. I think I go Coco here. Um, Cabalion kills Diggersby with CC. I think I go Coco. I know he was Life Orb, so he doesn't have any other items. And Coco is not going to be faster, but I don't think he can one-shot me. So I should be safe to just Dazzling Gleam. I should be safe to Dazzling Gleam and knock him out. And if he's faster, like I said, I should be able to live any hit from him. This does scare me a little bit because it gives the Raichu the Electric Surge, but it's not that bad. I think I'm just going to Dazzling Gleam here. And it should, yeah, definitely should knock him out based on his, his health. I don't think Poison Jab... He has to Iron Head flinch me, basically. That would be the way he comes back from this. Um... But Dazzling Gleam is going to be pretty good. I'm trying to think how... Like, Umbreon can beat the Raichu, I'm assuming. He's going to switch out, so I get a Dazzling Gleam off on something. Is it the Raichu? Yeah, Raichu's going to come in. It's going to take Rocks damage, and it's going to take a Dazzling Gleam. Is it an Assault Vest Raichu? Because he might have went Assault Vest Raichu. Mmm, that did a good amount. He's got Leftovers. Do I just want to Dazzling Gleam this thing twice? Like, what does Raichu do to me now that I know he's leftovers? Like, what does a Raichu do to me? Like, why don't I? Why wouldn't I just Dazzling Gleam twice? I mean, he can Thunderbolt, but it's not going to be enough to knock me out. I think I'm just going to Dazzling Gleam twice. Because it looks like it'll knock him out. Two Dazzling Gleams here should do it. And I don't think he's got any way to one-shot me here. He's going to Wish. So it's like a bulkier Raichu with Wish. But, like, what is his plan with that? Is he Wish Protect? Is he Wish Protect? I'm going to just go for another Dazzling Gleam. Does he have Protect? i got to find out if he has Protect or not. i got to find out if he has Protect or not. I think he, he doesn't. I think he would have clicked it already. Because Cabalion isn't taking two Dazzling Gleams. And Jellicent can come in, but Jellicent doesn't want to take... Um, 
stealth rocks and start to get toxic worn up on it, because then I can go into Primarina and set up a, a reflect. Very interesting Raichu set. We see Wish and Leftovers. Very interesting. Dwellion's sitting at like 65%. Jellison is toxic and weakened. Oh, he's so he's, he definitely doesn't have... Um, that should knock it out. Oh! That's so painful, dude. That's so painful that that didn't knock him out. That's so painful that that didn't knock him out. And now he's living. Oh, man. That's so painful that that didn't knock him out. I have to go Don fan, I think. And start threatening with Earthquakes. I have to go Don fan here. He may have coverage for Don fan, but I think I have to do it. Dude, this Raichu, I, he lived on one HP, dude. And I gotta get this electric terrain off the field, too. And now we're in range for Cabalion. Which is really scary. I mean, this is this is really scary. I mean, Cabalion's such a rock polish, and they're wrong against the, a certain Mon, and it just depends on the coverage on his Raichu, and I feel like he's gotta have Surf on this thing. But I gotta switch out. I gotta go into Dawn Fan here, I think. He probably wishes. He probably wishes here. He goes for Toxic. Okay. That's actually not the worst thing in the world. Does he have Surf though, dude? Does he have Surf? He goes for Toxic. Does he have Surf? Dude, I keep lived on like one, man. Oh, man. This has been a crazy match, dude. This has been a crazy match. I just have to hope that he doesn't have Surf. He has Surf. Oh, he has Protect. Toxic Protect. Okay. So that's really good. That means he cannot touch Dawn Fan, and I get a free Earthquake here. And there's nothing he can do. He has to go Jellicent. He has to go Jellicent here. Okay, we know Dawn Fan beats Raichu, so we need to keep Dawn Fan around. And Dawn Fan's at a decent amount of health. I mean, he's taken a lot of toxic damage here, but he's forced to switch out here and go into Jellicent. He 100% has to go Jellicent here, which gives me an opportunity to potentially go into Luna, which can then... I think Luna is my safest play. But that can bring in Cabalion. What was the Jellicent at? It's poisoned. Can I two-shot a Jellicent? I mean, really, I just need to weaken... Hmm. I want to go Luna, but I can't start foul playing. That's a mistake. I think I need to go Siren here and set up a Reflect again. I mean, if I just two-shot the Primarina, we're good, but it's going to force him. I'm going to Earthquake. He switches out. He's got to go Jellicent. He goes Julio, which is Jellicent, I'm sure. He's going to take Ross. He's going to take Toxic, and he's going to take an Earthquake. I don't think our Earthquake's going to do enough to knock him out, though. We are max attack. If he's specially defensive, maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Leftovers. It's going to force him to recover. Force him to recover here. He's going to take Toxic damage. He has to recover now. And I'm going to take so much toxic damage. Ouch. I think it's worth keeping this thing around, though. Because it beats the Raichu. What do I go into? I want to go into Luna and Foul Play, but I don't want to give the Cabalion a boost. I can go Primarina and set up screens again. Um, what do I go into? I could Ice Shard too. I don't think Ice Shard kills though, and I think keeping Reese around is important. Um, I go Tabu Coco, predicting the recover, and you turn out on the switch. I think I go Primarina. I think I go Primarina and set up screens. I'm gonna go Primarina and set up screens. He may not even have recover, but I think keeping Dawn Fan around is worth it. Just because I know it walls Raichu, even though I'm at such low health, I know I at least wall Raichu. He stays in. Alright. I don't know if I live the Giga Drain actually at this point. He goes for a cover, so that was a pretty obvious play. Um, and we know he's Shadow Ball. I think I need to go for a Reflect here. Because of the threat of the... 
Cabalion more than anything. He takes toxic damage. He's putting himself in a situation where Dazzling Gleam could pick up the kill. I'm gonna go for the Reflect here. I don't know if I'll live the hit, to be honest. The Giga Drain was doing a decent amount last time. He goes for the Giga Drain. Will it do enough? It's gonna be close. We live, which is huge. I get my Reflect up. That's really good. That gives us eight turns to deal with this thing. And I can then go into my Umbreon and I can foul play. Like, Umbreon can beat the Raichu, I think. Um, I think I have to go... Uh... Yeah, Toxic after this turn is going to be really good. So I'm going to go for the, um, the light screen here just in case. But Toxic after this might put him in range for Tabu Coco Dazzling Gleam, which is really important. It's just that, that Raichu, man. That Raichu can just wish protect on me. And I can't really do anything about it. Um, I mean, Umbreon can foul play it, but... And I can Toxic it with Umbreon, actually. That's what I'll need to do. I'll need to Toxic the Raichu with Umbreon. I think that's that's what I'll have to do. But I can't allow that Cabalion to come in and set up a second Rock Polish. Because if it does, we're going to be in trouble. He's actually going to recover here. So good play on his part to go for the recover. Um... That's going to allow him to kind of... He realizes that I'm not an offensive threat to him. He's seen my full moveset. So he can just kind of recover to stall screens. I think I actually have to switch out here, predicting him to try to recover stall me um, out of screens. So I think I want to go Coco and start to pressure him. I think I have to go Coco and pressure him here because I think he can, he's... In his mind, he can just click recover over and over again until my screens wear out and then knock me out. So I think going into Coco here, I can force him to attack me and I can Dazzling Gleam. I think that's what I'm gonna do. This is getting risky, man. This is getting coming down to the wire. Please don't attack me. He, I hope he just recovers again. Just recover. He goes for a protect. Okay, so we see another move there. That's really good. We've seen his full move set now. Giga Drain Shadow Ball. And this toxic damage is racking up. So now I get to go for Dazzling Gleam. This should put him pretty low. Yep, okay. Now I Dazzling Gleam. I can also U-turn, but I know I can live a Shadow Ball, so I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam. I don't think it knocks like knocks him out, but after Toxic it will. And we know the Raichu can't beat Don Fan. I can, I can, uh, well, he can't attack me at least. Oh man. This is gonna come down to the wire. And you know what? Umbreon can't beat Cabalion either. Because I'll just give him justified boost. He actually goes for protect to scout out my move. Um, which I think was not necessarily the best play. He stalls out screens, I think, is kind of what he was aiming for. But it's going to force him to, I think, where he got he dies to Dazzling Gleam now. From all this talk. Like, look at how much toxic damage that is. So I'm going to Dazzling Gleam now again. And we should be able to pick up the kill on this thing. And that should do it. Um... This game is, is frustrating me today. Ugh, Jellicent dies to Toxic from Primarina. Dude, this is ridiculous. This is getting ridiculous. I, I just, I, I can't catch a break right now. With I mean, I had the luck in the beginning of the game. Don't get me wrong. But this is getting insane. Uh, here comes Remy, which is going to be his, uh, his Raichu. And I know this thing can stall me out, which is so frustrating. Which means I have to switch. Dawn fan is not the switch. I think I have to go into Primarina. He likely T bolts, knocks out Primarina. Then I go Resist and I can Earthquake twice and kill something. Okay, we're gonna sack off Primarina here. Okay. I gotta catch him on that Protect. Okay, we actually just die anyway, it doesn't matter. So. He wishes. So now is he gonna protect? I think I wanna go Umbreon. Do I go Umbreon or do I go... We're at 33 HP. Can I go... Can I come in, take rocks, take Toxic, he protects, and then the following turn, get an Earthquake off without dying. I come in, he protects, I take Toxic, I take rocks. I think I can. I need to kill one of the two Pokemon right now with Earthquake. So I think I can live Rocks and Toxic one time. 
2021. We have to live both. I have to Earthquake. He likely has to get a double protect. I think we live the Toxic, 6%. I'm at 21 out of 197. That's 10%. He goes for the Protect. Okay, he's gonna have to hit a double Protect. He's gonna have to hit, have to hit a double Protect here. Because I know he can't hit me. He's got Wish, Protect, Thunder, and to or T Bolt, and Toxic. We're gonna live on 9. We kill something here as long as he doesn't double Protect. Earthquake. We kill something as long as he doesn't double protect. And then T-Bolt from Coco kills Cabalion. Or Umbreon beats Raichu, one of the two. He just can't, I just, he just can't hit a double protect. If he hits the double protect, I think we lose. Dude, I hate a game that comes down to a double protect, man. I think he has to double protect. I think he just has to go for it. Good Raichu set, though. It worked. It's really worked. <clears throat> Let's go. That was big. I'm not even going to guarantee that I'm killing him here because I don't even want to trust it. Don Fan kills Raichu with EQ. Don Fan dies to Toxic from Raichu. Wow. Tabu Coco versus Cabalion. Clicking T Bolt. We do 80 to 94. I should be able to live. I don't think Cabalion really has any priority, especially not on a rock polish set. T Bolt should be able to seal the deal here. What a crazy game of hacks and just random, random nonsense, dude. You got to give Leo. I, I, I'm not going to say it's over yet. We should be able to pick up the win here, though. But you gotta give Leo all the props, man, for the fact that he fought back in this match. We're gonna click Thunderbolt. That should be able to pick up the kill unless he's like super specially defensive rock posh, which doesn't make sense. And it does, dude. Tabu Coco picks up the final kill. Oh my goodness. Wow. Dude, big props to Leo on that one, guys. That was a crazy battle, dude. That was a crazy battle. We obviously got that super luck at the beginning with Aqua Tail uh, missing on the Aerodactyl and us being able to pick up the kill with Stone Edge there with Dawn Fan, putting us at a huge 6-4 advantage at the beginning. But then he got a huge crit back with a critical hit knockoff into our Latias after living at an ICM Z plus one. I don't know how he lived that. He must have been max special defense assault vest. He lived that, got the big crit there, knocked out our Latias, which was poised to sweep. Then I go into my Diggersby, I think the game's over when I click Agility, and he's got Air Balloon, um, Air Balloon Cabalion, which stopped the sweep there from Diggersby. And, uh, dude, just crazy match, man, crazy match. But it ultimately comes down to him needing to get a double protect on his Raichu, doesn't get it. Don Fan, who we preserved, is able to one-shot the Raichu, which was a crazy Raichu set, Toxic Protect, Wish, uh, you know, T-Bolt, just crazy stuff there. And then Coco could one-shot the Cabalion, which then took the return earlier from Diggersby. And we pick up a 2-0 win and continue our run. P4G is the number one team. Wow, dude. If that, if you, I mean, obviously there was hacks. There was hacks on both sides. But that was probably one of the best Pokemon battles I've had in a long time, man. I didn't think we were winning that one when it came down to the wire there. It's some crazy luck on both ends, man. Go show some love to Leo. Hit that like button down below if you enjoyed. I don't know how you couldn't. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drop. I'm going to catch you guys next time. Peace.